At least four people have died, and nearly six million people are without power in Florida, after Hurricane Irma made landfall Sunday on the Florida Keys as a Category 4 hurricane. The storm also flooded the streets of downtown Miami, turning the city's main strip, Raquel Avenue, into a three-foot-high raging river. Its arrival sparked one of the largest mass evacuations in U.S. history, with nearly seven million people ordered to leave their homes. Before hitting Florida, Irma caused widespread devastation across the Caribbean, killing at least 27 people and leveling nearly 90 percent of all structures in St. Martin and Barbuda. It also displaced more than 100,000 Haitians and destroyed crops in the north of Haiti. Cuba has dispatched more than 750 health workers to Caribbean nations to help assist in the aftermath of the most powerful storm ever recorded over the Atlantic Ocean. Irma, now downgraded to a Category 1 storm, is still barreling across more of Florida and then on to Georgia, Alabama and Mississippi. We'll have more on Irma and climate change after headlines. Meanwhile, President Trump is using Hurricane Irma as an excuse to push for tax cuts for the rich. This is Trump speaking Saturday. To create prosperity at home, we'll be discussing our plan for dramatic tax cuts and tax reform. And I think now, with what's happened with the hurricane, I'm going to ask for a speed up. Best selling author Naomi Klein tweeted More one for the shock doctrine record books. Trump uses Irma to push for tax cuts while the storm is still happening.